Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online video. My name is Saints Fan, and today I wanted to make a video helping all the new players in GTA Online. Now, while yes, the game's been out for six years, over the last couple of years, there's been a lot of new players to the game, especially in the last month, the game came out on the Xbox Game Pass. So I think a lot of people are starting to play it again or play it for the first time. And if you just go into the game, there's a lot of stuff. So hopefully in this video, I can help some of you newer players out by going through 10 things all new players should know. Now, starting off with the first thing, the number one thing you should know is that it's not necessarily difficult to make money in this game, but it is difficult to make like serious money. When you're talking about money to buy a yacht and all these other crazy big things that you see longtime players have, that kind of money, it's a long process and it is kind of a grind. So I think that's just like the first thing you need to know. If that's not for you, then GTA might not be your game. If you don't sort of like going through a long grinding process, then you may just want to find another game. I just, a lot of people, maybe you're under a misconception that GTA Online, you can just do whatever you want, but it is money related. And while it's not difficult to make, it is a relatively long and tedious process to make, let's say 10, 15, 20 million dollars. Now, the second thing that all new players should know, and this goes for actually all players in general, is how to make a solo public lobby. I made a video a couple of days ago explaining this, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. Go check that video out. I go over how to make a solo public lobby on PS4, on Xbox One, and on PC. It's relatively easy to do, and what this allows you to do is actually sell and do business stuff in a lobby by yourself. Because for those that don't know, while there are invite-only lobbies and solo friend lobbies you can do, Rockstar, they limit you from doing business stuff in those. You have to be in a public lobby to do business stuff. So this makes a public lobby where only like you and your friends can join for the most part. That's one of the most important things you should know. The third thing I would say all players should know is that just the game is easier if you make friends or if you join a heist. Now, Obviously, I get questions like this all the time. Like, how do I, you know, get heist partners and all this stuff? That's, I mean, like, there's a number of different things. Honestly, the best thing, if you guys are new players to the game, or if you're even old players game and you're just willing to help out people, use the comment section down below and put what console you're on and what's your gamer tag. And hopefully you guys can help each other out finding uh, new players or heist members to, to help you guys make money. Because in the game, Rockstar's just designed it to encourage you to play with friends and it's unfortunate for solo people but that's just the way it is especially with heists it's just it's way easier to play heist with friends or by joining a crew rather than playing with random people because most of the time the random people aren't very good and i guess kind of touching on the heist part initially i would start with either the old heists, if you know people that have them and can do them, or the casino heist, which I'll touch more on in a second. I would probably skip the Doomsday heist at the moment if you're a newer player, just because that heist is very, very difficult. You do get a lot of money from it, but it is pretty dang hard, at least compared to the other two heists, the old heists and the casino one. The fourth thing I thought new players should know is there is a hide options feature. It's really overwhelming if you first start the game and you hit the start button. You can't even see the map. There's so many different icons. Well, hit the select button when you're obviously like in the world. Go to the interaction menu and then scroll down until you see the hide options or the show options menu and go through this and change what you want to see and what you don't want to see. Most of this stuff you can hide because it's irrelevant and you're never going to want to see it. But obviously, I'll let you guys decide what you want to show on your map. But you can pretty much turn everything off and actually be able to see stuff on the mini map and when you hit start to open up the big map. The next thing, I think this is the fifth thing that I thought all new players should know is that while at the beginning of the game early on, you can purchase all the DLC weapons and vehicles and stuff. And you may think you can take on some of the higher level people 
realistically more than likely you can so basically don't expect to like win fights or don't expect to kill and do better than people if you are a lower level just because while you may have the oppressor mark ii you might not have flares on it or you might not have the chafe missile on or the chafe system on or you might not have rockets that uh you know lock on to people or you might have a good assault rifle so you think but then you encounter someone who has the Mark II assault rifle or explosive ammo and just little stuff like that. You're going to have to work towards, obviously, but don't think like you can just beat everyone up. It's probably not going to end well for you. I would just sort of steer clear of the PvP stuff if you are a newer player. The sixth thing you should know is business locations. Now, yeah, initially you're not going to have enough money probably to buy like a bunch of businesses. But the one good thing about starting the game now is that all of the businesses are pretty much out so you can decide and have a better game plan as to where your businesses should be located. I will say, even though they're the most or the least expensive, do not buy anything up in Polito Bay. Unless you love driving in the game, driving slow vehicles across the entire map, it is not worth to buy anything up at the north of the map. Most of the stuff happens down in the city, so purchase things that are closer in the city and purchase things that are closer together. Like look and check on all the websites and make a plan of where you want your business locations to be because the closer everything is, especially to like your apartments and your garages, just the easier you're gonna find it to make money. I think this is number seven, get a buzzard. That's like, the first vehicle you should probably get when you're a new player if you don't already have one somehow get a buzzard it's a helicopter i think it's like 1.2 million dollars buy this before you buy any supercar any sport car you may be thinking oh i want to save up my money and get the the sports car or the supercar that i want but trust me it's gonna make your life so much easier to get a buzzard because when you have that buzzard it's gonna make getting money so much easier so while it might have taken you a while to get that $1 million, $2 million initially, getting the buzzard first is going to make the extra or the money after that so much easier. And you're going to get money so much quicker rather than buying a sports car and then doing the whole process again. So get a buzzard. That's probably one of the, uh, the best tips I would give if you are a new player. Number eight, this is uh, something that players should know if you don't plan on or if you don't know people that do heists or if you don't do the heist that often, there is a pretty easy way to make money that is completely solo. You don't need people to do this with and you can actually do it in an invite only lobby. So you don't even need to go to a solo public lobby. And this method is by playing VIP missions. Now there are there's a, a pretty well intact system for being the most efficient with the VIP work. And I'll leave a link to a post and I'll leave a link. I think I actually made a video a couple of years back. It's called the wave method, but you can make upwards of like 300, $350,000, I believe per hour, which yeah, it's not a whole ton, but considering you're doing this in an invo only lobby and you're by yourself. And if you have that buzzard, that makes it even easier. You can grind to get the, the millions of dollars you want to purchase those businesses. So do the VIP work, do the, the VIP wave method, and that is a fantastic way to make money. I can't count, so I don't know what number we're on, but this is another thing, and this is really more relevant now more than ever, honestly, because one, the casino heist just came out, but two, just because it's so much, it's probably going to be so much easier to make money and to make friends this way. After you buy that buzzard, wait until you have, I think it's $2 million. I could be wrong, but purchase an arcade. Now, the one I have the best arcade is honestly the La Mesa arcade. I don't know if that's the one that's like $1.8 million, but I would say in 2020, that should be the second thing you purchase after a buzzard. You do the buzzard. You grind until you get enough money to buy the buzzard. Then you grind with the buzzard to get enough money to buy the arcade. And the reason I say to buy the arcade as your first business ever is because of the casino heist. Number one, the casino heist is relevant and there's a ton of people playing it at the moment. So that means you're going to be finding games and you're going to be finding people to play with a lot easier. 
And two, it actually pays a really good amount of money. And actually three, I guess, it's super easy. The setup missions can pretty much all be done solo. Yes, it might take a little bit of extra time to do them solo, but you can do them pretty much all solo. And then when it comes time to the heist, if you do know uh, of any other friends that want to join you or if you're in a crew that people are willing to join you, you know, that's probably the best way. But honestly, even doing it with randoms isn't too hard if you've done all the preps. And then you just break into the casino, kill all the guards, which is super easy to do if you, again, have done all these setup missions. And then I think you get upwards of like $1.5 million, if not more. And I will say, if you are doing the casino heist, it's probably best if you can do it, like if you're capable enough of doing it, do it with only two people. You get more money that way, you know, rather than having four people and having to split it up four different ways. But that probably is like the third thing you should know. Just going into the game in 2020, get an arcade and do the casino heist. That'll probably be the best way to make money. And from there, obviously, you can spread out into other businesses and and all that. But I just I wanted to make this video because I think there's a lot of new players that don't really know and that are overwhelmed with what to do in GT Online. I didn't want to make too complicated of a video because I think that can maybe push people away. So hopefully this video is relatively easy enough to, to go through and understand. And hopefully this helps you guys that are newer to the game make money and enjoy it a lot more. So thank you all for watching. That's going to do it for this video. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA online content. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.